charges have been dropped for the final officer charged in connection to the 2000 protest 2020, I should say, protests in downtown Columbus. This officially marks the end of a two year criminal investigation in which three officers were charged with misdemeanors and none were convicted. NBC4 investigates Jamie Ostroff has been following those cases and she's here now to break down what happened, Jamie. Well, Jared, the trial of Officer Philip Walls was supposed to start today. He was charged with assault, dereliction of duty, and interfering with civil rights for pepper spraying protesters on a sidewalk he and his colleagues were instructed to clear. All of those charges were withdrawn today by Special Prosecutor Brad Nicodemus, who took over the case a year after those charges were filed. I spoke with Nicodemus about why he felt Walls should not have been charged in the first place. I also spoke with one of the people Walls pepper sprayed. Rick Lane was fo photographing the protests and he stopped to help a woman who had been pepper sprayed when he got hit with the mace. Part of their um, briefing before they uh, arrived at that corner was that they were going to be clearing those protesters and that to get their mace out so they knew they would be engaging them. Um, Officer Walls did not mace everybody he went by. There were a number of people that cleared and, and he did not spray them. I did not mace them, only macing those persons who were not clearing the area. I was very hopeful up to this point that, yes, our, our system would do what it's designed to do. But yet again, we are seeing exactly the opposite, which is no accountability, Nothing is going to happen other than the reprimand the officer already got, and that's the end of it. Now, Lane and Walls did sit down and talk this morning. He said Walls explained that he was just following orders. Lane called the conversation slightly awkward, but refreshing.